And tonight we're going to do a couple that I've really been looking forward to from a couple of keg guys, which is exciting. Um, so we're going to start with Stay Puffs, which is Old Sunset Field. This is from Blue Team. I mean, that screenshot kind of says a, a lot of what I think this course is about. It's really creative by the looks of it. Um, definitely a look we haven't seen before. Um, yeah. There's a lot of things that come to mind when I think of a Stay Puff course. I think it's going to be relatively tricky. I think the sculpting is going to be top notch. There's going to be some kind of rugged land and he uses natural land and terrain better than pretty much anyone else like that kind of rocky sort of stuff so i'm expecting bits of that haven't played this i did leap in to look at hole one when he first published and immediately let back out because i wanted to be like surprised by playing it and all of these courses you're getting my first ever playthrough of them so we're going into the usual so course name uh, old sunset field tees would you like to be judged from black any further conditions is a must. Northwest prevailing wind. Okay, cool. No key design features he wants us to be aware of. Excellent. Medium difficulty, so tougher CC to elite depending on career, um, conditions. Any real life courses? No, but 1900s California oil boom, which is pretty awesome. Um, which three de required elements would you like to be judged? Okay. Um, a drivable for. for Excellent. Four greens within 200 yards, also excellent. A template hole of your choice, which is a short hole, and it's short 13. Lovely. I am looking forward to this one. So, we'll get our... Let's go medium winds, and we're saying northwest. Love it when people give us a prevailing wind. It just makes this all work so much better. And let's go pin two. So yeah, we're nearing, I don't know how how many we've done. I feel like I've done quite a few of these. Yeah, let's see how we go. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is where you are. So we'll do our usual and leap straight into that lovely Jim Gem sky cam. I mean, this is awesome. Just a great use of step. He's nailed the texture colours. And like this sort of little lake stuff is exactly what I had in mind for Black Salt and never got anywhere near. He's done that really, really well. Mm. Yeah, good evening for me. I mean, I would say there's not much to see here because you look at the planting and that. And then you realise there really is because you look in the distance and you see these really cool oil towers. Now, I'm not going to go too close to them because I don't really want to give away how he's done them. But they're pretty awesome. And what have we got all the way over there? A couple of silos. I mean, I just like how he's done this. Really cleverly done with the plot. And like those tyre tracks, are, or like that one dirt path is really cool. Good evening, Los Souls McConnell. We're going to do a couple of keg playthroughs this evening. So we've, I've kind of been doing them as they've been released and trying to do one from red and one from blue as they come across so the fact I mean I came across this one and then I've also got blind rabbit to do so I'm looking forward to that Ooh, attention to detail on this fence judges will like that I mean I'm just excited to get into this one now, I feel like there's a pumping station somewhere as well that I should be looking out for but I'm not really sure where it is yeah, good evening. Hi, Jamie. I mean, it's been really cool watching these come together in one of the discords recently and just see it. Oh, and this is that little par 3 course that I have played, the spill, and I think I managed level par maybe one over. So, yeah, looking forward to this. Um, I mean, his first hole could have been a template as well. It's basically a narrows. Like, we probably. Ooh. Probably can't drive that, but if you did hit it just right, you're probably funneling through and yeah, getting a decent look at the green. Oh, it's a tempting first tee shot because <coughs> excellent. Yeah, she's probably never heard British accents, so she does need this. I mean, bunkering is superb. I really like the mix of planting here. Huh. That's pretty cool as well. 
and just the environment you've created you you can tell just off the first tee shot that you've had a hell of a lot of fun with this of course I think we're going to go short yeah step cross with swiss sounds like mental but good definitely go for it we 19 of 34 excellent it's quite a big green comparatively for the length of hole but I mean you got some nasty little slopes on there yeah I might have this one a little bit sh smaller as a green size but I think that will depend on where you put the pins and actually for a first hole I really I think it works well the sight line there's great with how you've got the flag just between the bunkers works really well yeah I think we're gonna get a lot of like every course is just looking really good Come on stay on and what I like that you've done is you've not really used tears but you have got these real like these really good gradual slopes which is cool I don't do that very often or very well Hiya, mayor. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Jamie. I mean, as someone who has also left a car park empty, I completely get it. We will still go around looking at your plot. All the mats. Yeah, I mean, this is just... This is too cool. Ah, there it is. Ah. Like, the environment in this is so good. I'm just a huge fan, Geddes. Hmm. Okay. This one we do have a little bit of a tear on. Bunkering's great, as expected. I do like the little depression right as well, and how you've been... Sneaky little kind of good point on this is the grasses you've used, because you've used those step ones, they render so, so well from distance. So I think I, I like the restraint in not just chucking a load of bushes down there. Let's try and get somewhere up here. What age did I start designing? Like, I mean, what? A y <laughs> I've been doing this for about a year and a half, probably. Actually, it's nearly two years now. <laughs> mm, negative. Trying to work out how I feel about all the beads funneling into like here and then I I I I'm not I don't have a problem with drainage because it clearly does come down here and go there. I don't know. Everything tells me this green wants to go just this way. But I guess it adds interest. Great sight line again. Oh I need a little bit less of a fast. <laughs> nah, not true. I, I mean, ground game is important. People need to know. Just loving the, like, clumping of the planting. I'm slightly thrown by, like... The few bushes you have and then the big expanses of nothing. I'm just kind of wishing there was a few bushes over here or something, but maybe that's meter stuff. I don't know. Oh, that's a dreadful shot. Huh. Um, well, I mean, my favourite one would have been Walking Stick because I shot seven under and all the others have been, like, I've been awful on. I probably, honestly, I probably won't know for a little while yet. Um, alright. Par five. The mix of trees is cool. The, pa <laughs> the palms may be throwing me a tiny bit, but then I hate palms, so Jeremy will understand. Great green sight. Love this. Love the mound in front of it. 
I feel like you could have lost the front bunker and it would have played just the same. Yeah, exactly. Because I kind of feel like driver is not totally out, but I just don't see a way I'm sneaking driver around this anyway. Whereas I think if you'd lost the front one and just used camber, then I, I'm starting to hit, try to hit a partial over here and not run through. I like the idea though, I really do. Is this another one where you've done all with shapes again as well? I think a three wood's the right play there. I mean those two those three bunkers are done really well and I love the little grassy nip lips and okay. And where do we want to be? Contouring on this green's great. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Hold the phone, he's spline the fairways. Jesus. Alright, I feel like... If I miss left... Uh, if I miss left, I'm dead. Nah, although even then with this pin I'm okay. I'm probably leaving a little bit of room to run on. I'll tell you what, this looks stunning for a hole away from the sun as well. I'm happy going for this, I think. Hoping it will just bounce down a little bit. Yeah. And I mean, you could have mitigated that with putting bunker on the other side, but there's just, like, it would have been wrong. So I'm glad you didn't. And it's a fun shot. Hey, Jizer. Oh, wow. Loads of people. Okay, 77. Take the flag out because, obviously. Uh, oh, no, sorry. He's blind the fairways. Um, Matt. So, Geddes says this is Stapoft. Is an old, old, old school designer. So he used to do everything with shapes before, like the rest of us, new splines. Well, before splines existed. So a lot of his courses do use shapes normally. Huh. This is cool. I like that we're coming back to those little pools. I said it earlier, but in case Matt, you weren't here, these, like this low level bit of water, that's what I really wanted to do on black salt, and never got anywhere near in terms of the water there, like you've absolutely killed that. Great sightline off the tee, I love the infinity fairway. <sighs> mm. So this is one of your required elements, the, the short four I think. Oh, and we've got all the greens in close proximity, so is this our four greens? One, two, three... Is there a fourth? No, maybe it's just three. I mean, it's still great. Okay, so drive ball four, and we're wondering why would you not go for it? We've got a bit of a backstop. Kind of feel okay hitting it this way. We can just go over here, I think. And if we hit the bunker, then I think I'm okay. We can confirm that the bunker sculpting is good. Ah, but I do like this runoff behind the flag. That's good. It's a subtle way of defending against this front bunker purely by the pin position. Big fan. Because we definitely don't want to go long. And we've gone long. Geddes, you bastard. I like that that one punishes you based on greed. And we're going to make a par when we should have made birdie. Bah. Bunkering here is really good as well. I feel like the big greens are, at this stage, are now like a conscious choice, and that does fit with the difficulty you wanted it to play. 
so that works well. I also like the sloping and where the bunkers are, and the wind. Like I know you suggested a wind, but that just makes me play further left, which makes me take on more of the bunker, and yeah, it's just good. Hopefully, that will feed off that little slope. Yeah. No, oh, just excuse me. This guy is just great views across the plot there. Hmm. Ah, we've missed it. Dreadful pup. I love the emptiness on this. It's a really bold move in that. I think it would have been very easy to overplant a lot of this, and you haven't. <laughs> I know you mentioned about the colour of the path critique. I kind of ag I kind of do agree a little bit. It's a funny critique, but I think eh, it's very brett. But then, with the stuff in the background, it works really well. It's just the up close stuff. Mm, yep, this is the sort of Getty sculpting I'm expecting. Low level dick punch. I really like your heavy rough work as well and the fact that it's just a little bit splotchy around the edge, it's not uniform and yet you haven't taken it very far. Makes sense. I wasn't sold on this little lobe of fairway. Um, let's see if I can... Where am I looking? Uh, I think I'd have probably just wrapped it a little tighter around this bunker. Would have made that stand out a little bit less. But, meh, nitpicking. All right. Um, yeah, that's not really the shot I want. Well, it's flat in front, so we can probably land it and roll. Or, or just that. It's just gorgeous. I don't really have a ton of stuff to say on this one. Yeah, that, Wes, that. I mean, my only thing is that like, occasionally a couple more clumps of this little bit of planting, because I love that you've done it with restraint. Fence is cool. Have you made that OB? Of course you have. People are going to get angry at the unput OB stakes, so just as long as you're ready for that one. Good par 5. Mmm. This is great. Yeah, okay, so it was a meter thing. I feel like I'd have preferred to ha actually see the fairway a bit more rather than this final bunker. I love these two. I actually love the bunker layering. I would have just I like seeing I think what you've done with the and making your main hazard, which is this mound. Although I think again you're away from the sun, it's kind of tough to make that show. Are you going to make me lay up on another par five? I'll just play, a but I like the fact that I've got the option to play that little partial to the corner, and now we're in business. Great green here, all those little mini contours. Bunkering's class. Oh, I'm sure there is Q. Fritch has some awful ones. There's this one where it doesn't have a single vertical flag. I don't know if you've seen that one. Ah, Andre's here as well. 
Excellent. And we're going to play his next. Love these little slopes, like sneaky little bits of yellow and like the lighter green. I think we can that sort of thing we can do so much more visually in this game. Ah, that's a dreadful part. And yeah, we're we've gotten away with it. <laughs> Gotta say, I th I on oh I am a huge fan of this. It feels a tiny bit like we've leapt in style a touch with the bunkering on this hole. Not much, but like just a little. But I'm all for it because it looks great. So, and I'm a big fan of how you've given a load of space here, but camber to take us away and give us a worse angle. And yeah, you know all the stuff you've done here. That's great. <laughs> she start banning Matty again. Ah, that's not a good shot. Get a lucky bow. Ah, we're in the bunker. I really like the planting around the bunker, including that little bush you've that kind of autumn or sort of, where wherever that came from. That one's really cool. Mm. Ah that's gonna be too far. That ain't getting there. That was predictable. I think this will just get even more fun when we start doing um, the watchmacorns. Once we start sorting out matchups and who's going where, it will get even better. There's a recovery. I think a lot of people can learn from this green. Like you've got one little slope, two well-positioned bunkers. Even like, and the bunkers aren't too close to the green, but they are affecting it. Just done this really nicely. Yeah. Nine's a stunner. Clubhouse up there. Yeah, nine's great. These two bunkers are perfect. <sighs> Damn it, Geddy, so I've got nothing to say on this one. Set up that view really nicely as well. Hi again, Matt. I thought you were here already. Uh, I've hit that too hard. Whoops. There aren't, I don't think. I haven't checked, admittedly. There's a solid front line. Maybe we're getting better. Hmm. A little contouring here is good because it does make me worry about going into that bunker. Again, really good green. I'm just loving the texturing and the way you've done the bunkers is just really good. This one has been scheduled, it's been put on Elite I think. I'm not playing the promo event, you know that. Ah, but we do have a way of getting the ball down there if we can hit a half decent shot. Jump all four, I, allowing a little recovery option or... Uh, that ain't it. Got on away with that big time. Oh, did he? I haven't I've not been checking the forums as much recently. Just a lot of idiocy at the moment. Oh I was gonna say if that went in that's the least deserved birdie. <laughs> Terrible part.
Well, we deserve a bogey on that one. I like that you've made me think with driver, but I don't think you've forced, forced it out of my hand too much. I might have liked to see this bunker like a little bit smaller, because I don't think hitting this side is really an option. As in, if I get through there, it's pure fluke, whereas if you'd given me just to there, I might be tempted. I mean, it should, I think it's a layup all day long anyway. And I really like the visual and how you've done this, and we're just not quite seeing where to go. And there's more fairway out there. There'll be people who don't like this as much, but I like that there's more fairway than we think. Yeah. <laughs> Here he goes again. Um, and it's par 5, and we've played that really badly. Have I played 3 wood or partial driver on like every par 5? Whoops. Um, ha oh, sorry, I've just seen, Lucas, I've just seen Yara videos. I don't know. I mean, I just recorded a shed load of videos I went along. And I've got no idea. It's no, not really structured in the way that the other ones are. It's just like whatever happens to be next, really. <sighs> par fives are tough. I like that your par fives are really putting pressure on the tee shot rather than the approach. Because certainly I don't do that enough. Oh, turn in. And now we're not going to make a par. Hate to see it. Well, losing a grip on this round, and that's frustrating to bogey a par five. Oh, is this the drivable par five you wanted? Because I for par five, par four. Because there was that other one. Hmm. Love the layering, and then the short par threes next. Love it. Little mini beerets. Hasn't gone full beerets though. He's a, he's a smart guy. <coughs> yeah, this one's good. I mean, I'm not. I'm a hundred percent not going for it. Just lay up to like a hopefully full wedge. Yeah. Full wedge or thereabouts. Semi. Oh, it's a dreadful shot. Huh. Has given me putter. Ah, uh, needs to slow down big time. Whoops. <laughs> well, we've gotten away with one there. I don't really have a ton to add. Like, the aesthetic is awesome. This is your best... Like, this is just a stunner. Nailed a short. And you've done it really subtly with the mounding, because that bunker in front hides it. Yeah, this is just great. I could just sit and look at this one for ages. It's great. I haven't got a single bad thing to say about it. It's a great pin because it's so totally legal, and yet it's also such a dick punch. That'll do. He's got a nice understated bridge. Which we like, don't we, Wes? Oh, is it a custom bridge and everything? Look at that. Uh, 
Okay, par 5. I'm hoping that you're going to let me hit driver easily on this one. Yeah. And yet we still get a benefit if we go, yeah, great green angle. Because the closer we play to the water, the better the advantage. <laughs> yep. Matt knows what he's doing. That is how judging works, Andre, you know. I also sneaky like that you've used a lot of your path fives to eat up bad sunlight. That's that's a little bit of a pro move. Oh, that's not going to be great. Get over. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Um, I haven't really commented on the green. I like that you've gone for a completely different style of shape and it's gone like narrow or rather shallow and wide even because we haven't had that before. This little bunk mound at the back adds a lot of, a lot of visual interest. <laughs> yeah, the owl rooting is pure. Mm. Again, I kind of feel like we've eaten up a little bit too much fairway, maybe. I don't know. I guess we can probably carry down there, but I'm not sure it's really worth the risk. I can probably carry over there. Ah, shit. I mean, let's go left. Left is clearly a very viable option. Nope. Yeah, I think maybe a couple of holes we've had. And I am aware of the irony here. Maybe a couple too many central hazards. And just overall, like, still plays really well. And I like that you've balanced it with a relatively, like, well, a very manageable green. Yeah, he's nailed it with both of them, hasn't he? Those oil rigs are so good. And don't worry, Matt, I didn't go up too close to them. Got to preserve your secrets. Exactly. I'll have you know, Ben has used one central hazard in the last two course. Last two courses. Mm, that'll do. It's a really good hole, though. And, like I say, managed where you've put the difficulty on this. I like that it's been mixed but I feel like tee shot's more challenged on this course than approach shot. But I'm good with it. And yeah, nice to follow it up with a really wide open hole where we can hit pretty much anywhere. Hmm. This one feels like a birdie hole. Like or it should be. We won't, but it should be. Yeah, classy would be the word I'd use. It's just everything is very well done. Hmm. Just trying to work out if this is the club. I like that this one's pretty much purely done on distance. Like, there's nothing. Ah, I might need to go. Mm hmm. But whilst I think there's also like there's a lot of strategy and like interesting stuff and really well balanced things, it's fun and just plays really well as well. And it's really hard to marry those two and like appeal to all kinds of people. Hmm. Oh, the peninsula green. It's a shame you can't really see the water a lot bit more. I don't know if that's... I don't think it's a sculpting thing. It's just the lighting and... 
I don't think there's that much. He, well, because of how low everything is. Might have lost this mound here and opened it up a touch. But then, let's have a little look. Yeah. I don't know. You'd know it's there, wouldn't you? Uh, that's not what we wanted. Get lucky. This is just really simple, really well done. Big fan. Damn it, I wanted to have more negative stuff to say. <laughs> I'm sure I won't. Okay. Um I don't love this tea shop. Just think the angle is maybe a little too harsh to take driver on, and it's maybe just forcing a layup more. We'll give it a go. I mean it's a definite surefire like hit a good shot or bust. Ah. Clubhouse is great, like just fits the course really nicely. Uh let's just make sure we get there. Go on, roll up. Oh, and uh, no. <laughs> yeah, Puffy, this is quality. Oh, this is exactly the sort of shot I'm awful at. There we go. I mean, Rhino hates Geddy's courses, so he didn't take him. All right. We can we can read a lot into his captaincy from that. Uh, yeah, Puffy, that was class. Just I don't really have a ton to say. The environment was quality. I think it worked really, really well. Um, cohesive and like unique as well. You hadn't had an idea and completely executed. I reckon. Let's have a little look. There were some definite highlights, like the fr the par 3 on the front was just stunning. 9, same with 13. I thought you nailed those. Par 5s I thought were really well done. I think they put generally put more pressure on the tee shots than they put on approaches. <laughs> there are some nice comments, buddy. Um, I think m maybe a touch overused on central hazards occasionally, but who am I to talk? The two drivable par 4s were great. I thought the balance on how you did your longer holes and where you put the challenge versus where you put it on some of the shorter ones and how you balanced green slopes, etc. was just really well done as ever. Um, yeah, and like the fact that you loved doing this course really showed. Like You could tell that it was just something you enjoyed rather than a grind, um, even though I'm sure there was the off-course stuff was great, just added to it, really unique. Like, this is, I think this one's going to be a tough ask for whoever it goes up against. Right. I'm going to cut the stream again, and then we're going to go to Andre's. We're going to go play Blind Rabbit. So let's go see how that shapes up.